Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CS and exam is done uh, and I hope that many of you have applied for gate exam. So that is our next target and uh, I believe that you must have downloaded your admit card by now because you technically have around one month for the exam. Okay, so this is the time which you have to utilize. So I am here to talk about how you can maximize uh, your productivity during this time and what you can do during this time and what you can avoid so that you can get a good score in the exam and being gate a very highly competitive exam it is very important to understand it and it is very important to you know strategize our preparation according to it so first of all let me tell you for every one of you who is preparing and who is uh, who is going to appear for this exam in case if you are not aware about it this exam is really important if you think that gate is only important for getting job of course you can get a job you are like you can get into PSUs through gate but there is also one more benefit of giving gate exam that is going into IITs for PhD IITs, ISERs, uh, NITs, even ISCs all these institutes even some more institutes they all uh, take admission based upon gate score so it's very important to have a good gate score I have already made detailed video on this so I'll give you link of those in the description of this video also in the comment section so that you can watch those videos in detail and understand what are the things to be done in order to you know uh, what are the benefits of gate exam so coming back to the strategy of it you only have one month left now what uh, you can do you have already prepared for gate uh, for the CSNET exam i'm expecting that you have done your preparation for CSNET exam and that's what i'm going to tell you what you can escalate in this particular time okay talking about a generalized concept or a generalized idea about gate exam that in the gate exam your uh your organic chem chemistry portion and inorganic chemo chemistry portion these two portions are relatively easier compared to the physical chemistry portion now it does not mean that the paper only has physical chemistry portions of course the paper or the exam is equally divided in all the three subjects organic inorganic and physical all carry equal marks in the exam but why everybody emphasizes on physical chemistry that's because physical chemistry of gate exam is little challenging and that is the deciding factor or that decides the rank or that decides your gate score and because in the gate exam rank matters a lot that's why it is important to pay attention on physical chemistry so in case if you have been uh, you know avoiding physical chemistry for now please do include some chapters of physical chemistry and if you were preparing physical chemistry now you have to you know solve more advanced or more difficult questions of physical chemistry in order to prepare yourself for the exam Coming to the inorganic chemistry, inorganic chemistry questions are not that difficult and they are of you know moderate level. Organic chemistry questions are relatively easier compared to CSRNET exam. So if you have prepared yourself for organic chemistry of CSRNET, I believe you can easily do questions of GATE as well. Uh, the first thing which you should do before you know before doing anything else is that you should do previous years question. You have to solve previous years question uh, at least five years question you have to solve. Okay just take the question papers look upon because that is going to tell you the trend of questions like that is going to tell you how a question is asked in exam so it's very important to uh, you know to look upon the question paper to look upon previous years question paper to solve them up and get a little bit into it okay that's the first thing second important thing is to give test series you have to give test series for gate exam so that you get used to uh, solving questions in a particular time and uh, when I'm when I say test series you have to be you know you have to utilize that test series in a way that it helps you in exam it's not like just sit for five minutes give few questions then go for the another attempt give few more questions it's not like that take out time just see in, in your daily schedule what time you have three hours two hours whatever time you have uh, which you can dedicately give for the test series sit back relax and give that particular whole time for the test that is how you are going to create a pseudo exam like situation and that is going to help you in the exam also like many people say that they are not able to manage time in exam that's this is a kind of test which you can do test series are used for that you can utilize test series for that in order to you know prepare yourself for exam prepare yourself for pseudo exam like situation so we have also launched a test series you can go uh, and get it out on our app itself so link for that will be in the description of this video also i will pin that in the comment section so you can go to our app all about chemistry app buy the test series there are four full length test series along with that you will also get some previous years question and so that is one of the way of 
getting used to the exam getting used to the exam like situation getting used to the questions which can be asked in exam and topic wise questions are going to help you to uh, make you understand that okay a particular topic how much prepared i am for a particular topic all right so these things you have to do before exam one more important thing which i wanted to add over here is that uh, you have to also focus on the aptitude part because the gate exam is of only of 100 marks and there is no options over here you have to do every question there is no option in this particular exam okay so considering that you have 15 marks for general aptitude so general aptitude comes for 15 marks and these 15 marks decides a lot of things okay and they are not that difficult out of those 15 you will be getting english questions also you will be getting uh, like um, uh, logical uh, and uh, like reasoning based questions also you will be getting pattern based question will be getting mathematics question so all are mixed over there so 10 questions are there of 15 marks you should be prepared with that okay how to prepare for that i'll be making a separate video of that so don't worry about that okay one thing which you have to avoid which i believe i have been telling last year also like see there were certain new topics added in the gate, gate syllabus in the past years i have seen there are not much questions you will only see one or two questions from there so no need to uh, you know straight away go to those topics and start studying those it's not like that if you are getting extra time if you have prepared everything else if you are done with your preparation and you are left out with enough time in then case in that case only you should go and you should uh, you know solve or you should uh, understand those newly added topics okay otherwise no need to focus much upon them first of all it's important to cover the entire syllabus then go to the newly added topic and as i said uh, one more important thing is there that for the exam like situation you need to use calculator okay in the exam you have gate calculator and that is super useful super easy to use and it is very important for you to be familiar with that because in the exam you are going to use that and it's available very easily you just have to google it you just have to google gate calculator and you will be able to get that download that gate calculator use that for all your calculations so that you get used to that particular thing so if you practice like that for the next one month if you practice like that give you your time for that and uh, you know you will be used to for that particular situation in that case when you will sit in the exam you won't be having much problem over there i'll be making one more video where i'll be telling you how to score good marks in gate exam that i will be making uh, in very few days and uh, that's all for this particular video thank you so much for watching if you have any queries related to the exam you can let me know in the comment section below and uh, see you guys in the next video